Howdy everyone, welcome back. It is time for a Pounce for Purrs workout, and we are switching programs. I decided to go back to an old Olympic routine that I really enjoyed running before, so I decided why not go back to it. Concentrate on the competition lifts and see where it goes. I got to the gym, and the first thing I did was a half mile on the elliptical, just to get things going, just to get the blood going and the temperature up. Then I came over to the platform and started off with a snatch complex. So this warm up is actually quite nice. I really enjoyed doing it and I picked it up from Catalyst Athletics. So it's a lot of different movements just done continuously, five reps. So it's not about going even heavy at all. And it's just to get things warmed up, get things primed, ready for practice. So the first thing I did was a tall a high pull and I'm accustomed to doing a high pull from a hang position or the floor so doing it from the tall position was actually a little bit different and I kind of like it so it went from the high pull into a muscle snatch then from there you saw behind the head press and then from there you saw an overhead squat and then you saw a sats press or press and snatch and then from there you, s you are now seeing a drop snatch so a lot of great movements very specific to the snatch and I very well might keep this now something like this you only need to go through it once there's really almost no need to do this for sets just get through it it's a circuit and then you can go on from there the only thing I might add and this is a just possible I don't know if I will or not yet but I'll decide soon is to actually do something like a hang snatch or something that involves the power position just because I think that might be a little bit missing for me so we'll see I might not need it at all but uh, I do like putting something in where you do a, an actual snatch whether it's from a hang position or even a tall snatch but something so we'll see now for the eight doubles on snatch I went very light very very light so this is just 65 pounds and Believe me when I say that going through that warm up with just the 20 kilo bar was plenty. There would be no reason for me to ever go above that. The empty barbell is more than enough. I can use a body bar with half that weight and still get everything I need from it. Now for the snatch itself, it was just make sure I remember it, make sure that everything's right before I even begin to add weight. The number I had going into this was 95 pounds, which is also light for me. I figured that could be a good starting off point, but as I was doing the warm up, I just wanted to go very, very conservative. So this is only 65 pounds. I don't even really have to think about it, but the whole idea is just kind of use this workout as a bit of a preface before really getting into it. Now, here's the clean warm up. And the only thing I did omit from this is a jerk warm up, which I very well might add next time. But for the clean, I like this. I'm working on the front rack position with a tall muscle clean and then going down into a front squat. Front squat is something that I have not focused on in a long time. I do like other methods of working like a front squat in the form of like, let's say a goblet squat. But for actual barbell front squats, it's been a while since I've since I've really done really much of any uh, in the past year so it'll be a nice it's a nice return to them to say the least from the front squat you'll see here I'm doing a tall clean so I start in the tall position and then I go into the clean and then from here I'm going down now this is a press and clean you can also call this a press and squat but it's specific to the clean so it's a press and clean doing some presses overhead in the bottom of the clean position and then from here you'll see a clean grip overhead press or I'm sorry overhead squat uh, so this is a bit different you no won't normally see this you'll normally see an overhead squat with a snatch grip or a wide grip this is a clean grip version and I like it so I very well might keep these uh, complexes and if I need to add anything maybe something like a tall snatch or a hang snatch and then for this probably something for the jerk the split jerk footwork just before I get to the actual clean and jerk now for clean and jerk this is ridiculously light and I'm okay with that I'm actually 100% fine uh, I had 135 in my mind to start off with and that would have been easy too 
but I decided why not just do 95 pounds. This is not something that is even going to remotely challenge me, but can I just do it correctly with a lightweight? So these are simple. These are easy. The, this workout went relatively fast because I was not working with heavy weights. I am giving myself a bit of a deload from doing daily maxes on squat, deadlift, and overhead press. So this is a nice way to kind of recover, still be working out, still be moving, and of course, definitely remembering the Olympic lifts, which are very, very technical. You don't want to rush into it. You don't want to take a long break and then all of a sudden remember the numbers that you hit last time and try to replicate it. Probably not going to go over very well. There might be some rust to knock off, and I just wanted to make sure that things were where they needed to be. And if there was anything that I had to fix, that I could fix it with a lightweight, not try to go too heavy too soon, and then have to dial it back and regress. So I'm happy with this. Are these re really, really light? Yes. But the whole idea here is to get the practice in and then go up from there. Now, I'm doing a 5x5 with a front squat. And a couple things that go with that. First, you notice that I cleaned the bar from the floor so I'm not using a squat rack um, nothing wrong with that that's how I did it last time but this way it just gives me a little bit more pulling into the workout and also from the floor it puts me in right into the same position I would be in for the actual clean so it's specific but also it does give a little bit more pulling action in the workout so I like it I very well might stick with this in fact I think I will I enjoy it and I think I'll just do it as long as I can until the point where I'm overloading and have to use the rack but we'll see if I get there one other thing to note is that when I ran this program before I actually modified it and instead of doing a front squat I did a high bar back squat which is still good for the Olympic lifts because you need a, a more upright torso and you go for depth. You really go low on the high bar squat and for the front squat, I try to treat it very, very similarly. So I'm bringing basically my hamstrings to my calves before I explode up. And for front squats, this is 135. This is a warm up weight, but just like the competition lifts, I purposely wanted to go very light. I did not want to push it, no grinding, almost no struggle even so if I was having a hard time with any of these exercises then I clearly would have needed to go lighter so with the front squat form think of all this as a form check this whole workout was a form check the only one that I really didn't need a form check was for was probably the overhead press which is next especially since I just got off training it for quite a while now I am using 135 for the overhead press and I also am cleaning this from the floor so no rack even for the overhead press and I like that I like the extra upper back work now don't get me wrong I'm not trying to build anything off of that it's a single rep before each set so it's not like I'm really loading up on it but I just like the habit of it to keep the bar close to pull the bar up in a vertical line and then getting into my front rack position depending on whatever exercise I'm going to do. So with 135 for the overhead press, that is very easy for me. That is a warm up weight. And just like the rest of the exercises here, I did light weights on purpose. So it's not about overload, although don't get me wrong, as I keep going along with each workout, I might either add weight every three workouts, every four workouts, but I will stick with the same weight just to get some adaptation and just to make sure that everything stays right. And if I do any kind of incremental um, progressive overload, it'll be very slight and very steady. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know how long I'll be able to run this. Who knows if the gyms will, ev will close again because that can happen at any moment just like before. So I'm just getting some fun practice and we'll see where it goes from there. All right, everyone. Hope you all are doing well, having a great week. And remember, adopt don't chop.